hi everyone in this video we are going to learn how to read one excel file then how to get all the sheet names then how to read data from all these particular sheets and this will happen dynamically so this point will be very interesting then we are going to merge two of these data frames and finally we are going to create one new excel file with all the old data and newly merged data so let's look into the input file i have this particular excel file where in the first step i have couple of records over here and in the second tab also same record but only one new column that is technology now let's look into code over here i have imported pandas spd and then using read excel method to read excel file and then passing relative path of that excel file but we can pass absolute path also and one thing to note is i'm not passing any sheet information let's first look into by default uh, which sheet it, it is going to read and then uh, over here just printing some of the sample information using head method now let's run this code and uh, printed some of the informations and this is by default from a sheet so if i'm not passing any sheet information that time it will read data from first sheet now let me explicitly pass the sheet information here let me say sheet one now let's re-execute this code again we should get the same information we got the same information over here i will change this code to make it second tab and let's re-execute this code this time we'll get information from second actual sheet see technology column we got which was in second sheet now let's move to the second point where we are going to get all the sheet names so for that i'm using excel file method and passing again the excel file path and then just using uh, its names to get all the sheets over here and just printing it and once this process is done i'm just closing this object over here so let's run this code and can see so there are two particular sheets over here it one and two now before moving to the this next point where we are going to read data from all the sheets now it, it should be dynamic that means if there are three sheets we have to read all of them if there are four five six it doesn't matter but we have to read all of these excel sheets so before we'll jump into this i just wanted to discuss about one concept where we'll talk about how to create one variable dynamically for that we have to use exact and pass one string over here say a equal to one so this will create one variable called a and it will pass the value as one let's make it a little bit interesting where i'm going to create one new variable called number and uh, i'll pass the value as one and then using f string i will pass this number and make it as where so we are going to create one variable that is a1 underscore 
uh, where and its value will be 1 that we can check by sprinting its value a1 a1 where a1 where okay let's execute this code and see the output And you can see we got the value for this particular variable as one now combining the concept of dynamic variable creation and uh, excel sheet informations we are going to read all the actual excel sheets available in a particular file so over here in the first part if you see we are just going to get the, all the excel sheet names and storing into excel sheet variable in the second part over here we are uh, going to iterate through all these excel sheets and uh, first we are going to print that excel sheet name so that we will get to know like it's going to print the data for this particular uh, tab after that we are reading excel file and we are passing uh, actual sheet information over here once this is done we are storing that information into excel data frame now the interesting part is over here where we are uh, creating a new data frame variable and passing uh, this excel data frame to new data frame and uh, at the last line we are just going to print some of the sample data from newly created uh, variable so if you see how the variable name will be it will be excel underscore one and data frame so this should be new variable name all right so let's execute this code and see the output now over here you can see we have two excel sheets and data for first excel sheet is this one and data from sec second uh, excel sheet is this one now we are going to discuss about how to merge two data frames so over here as we have two excel sheets so it will create two data frames one will be this one and uh, second will second data frame will be this one as we are just changing this sheet name over here right so sheet one sheet two these are two data frames now if i wanted to merge these two data frames and data we can see most same data but only one column is different over here it is a duplicate and here it is technology so we are going to merge these two data frame on uh, name key because name will be common in both of these data frames so if you look into this code over here where uh, we are uh, saying like first data frame dot merge and then passing the second data frame saying merge these two data frame on name key this name is common and then we are passing the fixes as pre and post this is for some of the columns in this example age is there in both of these data frames so when we will merge it that time we have to give some suffix so that uh, these two column name will be different all right and finally 
we are going to print this merge data frame let's execute this code And over here you can see we got the merge data frame where we join it on name column and data from left side which we got as uh, A's and then suffix is pre and this is the left uh, data frame data from right data frame that is A's and post so this information we have passed in suffix and then finally technology from right data now the last part of this video where we are going to create one new excel file with all the old data and new merge data right so over here if you see we are creating one excel writer object using uh, excel writer method and passing the new file name over here then uh, we are iterating through all the excel sheets and dynamically we are writing those uh, data frames so over here we see data frame dot to excel and then passing this excel writer object over here and uh, sheet name over here so as there are two actual sheets it is going to write data into two different actual sheets and finally we are writing merge data from data to the new actual sheet named merge let's execute this code and verify the file Okay. over here if you see in this particular file we have sheet 1 where we have all this data sheet 2 and merge all right thanks for watching